Hello everyone. This is Reddy sir. Welcome to MNR Academy. So as we know that uh, recently CBSE has been changed the complete uh, examination system of uh, class 10th and 12th. So now in today's class, I will uh, teach you the most important 10 MCQ questions for our uh, first term board examination, which is related to the physics under the topic of reflection of light. So now I will teach you how smart you have to solve and uh, how you need to make it a uh, maximum correct answers in a faster way because it is all related to the MCQ question. So the time management is the most important one. So we cannot uh, spend more time for any questions. So now let us discuss this uh, 10 questions, how fast I am doing and how my children from MNR Academy, how they will solve the same techniques I will teach you also. So if you want to solve this MCQ questions much faster and perfectly more effectively then please uh, subscribe MNR Academy and follow our uh, latest videos and all. So I'm, I will make so many videos related to this uh, latest pattern of CBSC. You can uh, easily learn so many things and so many different numericals from this MNR Academy. Thank you. So let us enter into our today's class. So the first one is, they are asking that linear magnification produced by concave mirror is. Here, if you'll follow my techniques, we no need to even proceed the options. Directly, we can choose the correct one. Suppose, as we know here, the first question, just for your explanation, I'm saying, suppose see, these 10 questions, if you'll give to me, are my children from MNR Academy, they will finish within two minutes. Maximum 100% correctly. That is what they will learn. So, here if you'll observe, linear magnification produced by a concave mirror, they are asking. So, as we know, first you have to remember, mirror they are asking, and that too, it is concave. So, concave means, as we know that, converging mirror. So, converging mirror means, it will form magnification. Immediately, your mind should say, magnification less than 1, magnification equals to 1, magnification greater than 1. That's all. So, answer is option C. Is our correct answer. We don't need to see any other options also. Directly can go. That's all. So next, they are asking magnification produced by convex mirror. They are asking. So as we know that convex mirror, immediately you can comes to here. It is diverging mirror. Diverging mirror. And even our textbooks they will give you two cases for convex mirror. That is in front of the convex mirror and uh, at infinity. So that doesn't matter. Even I will make it into single case. Wherever you will place in front of the convex mirror, always it will form virtual and diminished image. Means in the sense of what? Always magnification is less than one. That's all. So option B is our correct answer. Like Next, if it comes to here, they are asking magnification produced by a plane mirror, they are asking. So as we know, plane mirror, immediately how to remember, plane mirror means it is not converging, it is not diverging. It will form the same size of the object. So if object is one centimeter, the image formed by a mirror is also one centimeter. So magnification is height of the object is equals to height of the image. So magnification is always equals to what? That's all. So where it is there? Option D. Option D is the correct answer. That's all. So now let us come to here. The next question. In order to obtain a magnification of minus 2, this is what the most important. Sign is the most important one. So as you know, they are saying that minus. So you have to remember, whenever you will see the minus sign, immediately your brain should say it is definitely a real image. So as you know, your teachers will use to say you the sign convention of real image and virtual image. If you want, you please uh, subscribe my channel. In that, I used to explain very clearly how fast uh, you have to uh, remember the sign conventions and how if we effectively how to make it uh, uh, solve the numericals also. So let us come to here. They are saying, in order to obtain a magnification of minus 2, minus indicating what? Real. So, and with this concave mirror. As we know, concave mirror is only converging, which will form all greater than 1, less than 1, and equals to 1. They are saying minus 2, and it is real as well as it is greater than 1. Magnification is greater than 1, and also it is minus. So, blindly how to remember the case. Totally, here we have a 6 cases in the concave mirror. So, as we know that, they will form the magnified image when we will place the object between F and 2F. Because that is also how confidence I can say means. Because here they are asking minus, minus indicating real, and also it is greater than one. So greater than one means only the one case. If you place the object between f1 to fr, f 
2 f also we can call as radius of curvature so here it will form the image beyond c and that is also magnified image that's all. so answer is we have to place the object between focus and center of curvature next a concave mirror produced by a magnification of plus 4 you can see here plus 4 so they are asking magnification produced by a uh, concave mirror is plus 4 plus indicating what virtual image plus indicating always virtual so as we know concave mirror is forming magnification is plus positive and it is virtual and it is even also greater than 1 so it is a only one case when you will place the object between f and p that's all so where it is there option you can check it between focus and four that's all. option c is the correct answer so here option b is the correct answer next they are asking if a magnification of minus 1 you can see here it is to be obtained by using a converging mirror so converging mirror means already we know that that is what concave mirror and that too it is what magnification is minus so minus indicating what it is real and that magnification is also equals to 1 so this is a special case which we have used to study always it will place at 2f then only we is to get magnification is equals to 1 so 2f means what it is radius of curvature that's all. so at the center of curvature radius of curvature means the distance between the a uh, pole and the center of curvature means at the point called as center of curvature c we have to place the object to get c is equals to what we know that to if that's so like in order to obtain they are asking next question if you observe in order to obtain a magnification of minus 0.6 again the same thing here concave mirror means converging mirror minus minus indicating what again it is real and it is magnification is less than 1 so this is the only one case the two case 5 if you will observe if we we'll place the object beyond 2f or beyond c then the image will form between f and 2f or f and c so that is the answer so between where it is there beyond the center of curvature that's all. this is the answer so like same way next question if we we'll see this is what somewhat different but here without writing anything on paper you are able to solve then only you can uh, manage the time for some typical questions so do you don't think that uh, this is all very easy questions actually this is the level 1 questions i used to make uh, regularly uh, videos related to this uh, uh, mcq questions as well as uh, case study questions and reason assertion so if you want to follow the latest updates please kindly subscribe my channel and uh, give the press the bell icon to receive all the latest uh, notifications now coming to the question number 8 you will observe here an object is placed at a large distance in front of a concave mirror so here so many will think about this radius of curvature and all some information they have given you please write read the question first an object is placed at a large distance in front of a concave mirror of radius of curvature 40 cm so as we know that radius of curvature means uh, 2f radius of curvature or center of curvature which is equals to 2f as we know that now they are saying which is equals to 40 cm so the image will be formed in front of the mirror at a distance of they are asking so as we know here by reading a one word you have to understand large distance means some unknown distance which we cannot measure called as what infinity distance so when object is placed at infinity last case case number 6 object is placed at object distance is placed at infinity then image will form at focus that's all we know that so here 2f r is equals they are giving 40 so now f is equals to what will become 40 by 2 which is equals to 20 cm so here for your understanding i am writing this one so mind itself within 2 or 3 seconds you have to be able to answer this question that is what the answer is e that's all so coming to the next question this is little bit uh, tricky we here also without pen and paper you have to you are you must be able to answer so coming to here in order to obtain a magnification of minus 1.5 same thing again we have already solved one question related to that minus so minus indicating what real and it is 1.5 1.5 means mag magnification is greater than 1 this is what first you have to remember it so later only you have to go for another thing because analyzing question is most important so here you have observe real magnification is greater than 1 so i can easily say object is placed between f1 to f or i can say f comma c 
means center of curvature and focal length. That's all. So here they are giving focal length is 16. So if f is 16 means 2f equals to what? 32. f is equals to 16. So answer is between 16 and 32. Without seeing options, I am saying. That's all. So answer is where it is there, you can check it. Between 32 and 16 centimeter. I know it bother about if I am doing, if I am confident about my answer, I know not even check other options also. That is why we need to waste time because I am very confident after reading the question itself, I am able to answer without option. So that I don't need to bother about the other options. Let it be something to be, we don't need to bother. Only we want what is perfect answer for that question. So coming to the last question of our today's class, if it comes to here, linear magnification produced by a rare view mirror. So as we know, rare view mirror, your teacher may have been explained that applications of mirrors. So one of the mirror, rare view mirror we will, have, we will use in every kind of auto, automobiles and all, that is convex mirror. So convex mirror, already we have solved one MCQ related to this. So convex mirror always magnification produced is less than one. That's all. So vehicles, it is always fitted in vehicles, is always is what? Is always less than one. That's all. So this is what, how simple it is. If you'll understand the sign convention very well, and if you are uh, really confident about the car, uh, new Cartesian coordinate system, which is useful to solve the most of the numericals in our uh, reflection and refraction of light. So this is how simple you can answer MCQs 100% effectively. And uh, I will surely give the confidence that you can make it uh, full marks in the science in our term one board examinations, which we are going to attempt in November to December. So. For that, if you want to really improve yourself, you kindly update uh, for receiving all the updates of my channel. Kindly subscribe my channel, share my channel, and please press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Thank you. This is a ready, sir. If you want to, if you want to ask anything, if you want to solve, if you need any support from numericals or anything, please kindly contact to my email ID. So this is what my email ID. So if you want my phone number also, I used to give here. This is what my phone number, 84668711187. So if you need any support in CBSC exams like science or mathematics and all, please kindly contact to this number or this to email and follow my channel regularly. Thank you so much, all of you.